And welcome to Sunday Live. Uh, I'll try, uh, sign line interpreter tonight is Yula Nzale. Now, Nandi County Governor Stephen Sang has gone into hiding to evade police arrest. Sang is being sought by police after he led residents to destroy a tea farm in Kibwari while claiming the land was grabbed from area residents. Well, Rift Valley Regional Police Commander Edward Mamburi said a team of police officers have been deployed to track down and arrest Governor Sang. He claims the controversial piece of land was grabbed by politicians and multinationals in 2003. Raquel Moigai kicks off the broadcast. The rattle of the power saw, carefully and skillfully held by Nandi Governor Stephen Sang on Friday, only meant one thing. The death of the carpet-like mature tea bushes that stood beautifully at Kimwari's estate, four-acre piece of land in Nandi County. And as the jagged edges of the saw unapologetically cut through the stems of the tea bushes, the residents celebrated with song and dance. <laughs> But when the silent bushes proved to be a task greater than their energy, the caterpillar was trusted to complete the work. The destruction, however, still continues, with Governor Sang insisting that public land should benefit Kenyans and not individuals. The economic activity of the hawa is to kill the animals and the animals. You have to kill the animals and kill the animals. You are an economic saboteur. You have to kill the animals and the animals. Governor Sang says that reclaiming of stolen public land and resources within areas of Kapsabet and Nandi Hills will continue. But for political leaders in the area, the recent show by their governor has brought nothing but shame to the county. Tunajua kuna historia ya mambo ya chai. There are historical injustices. But there are no two wrongs which can make a right. Let us follow the law because we swore before we took an, we took an oath of office. The image ambao tunaonyesha ni haibu. Tunataka kuwa watu wa sehemu hii ambao tunaheshimu sheria. Of utmost concern is that the destruction of the tea plantation occurred under the watchful eyes of county officials who even got a chance to shoot videos of what has been termed as lawlessness by political leaders. Our county commissioner ambaye ni mkubwa wa security katika county hii he has something to answer for allowing lawlessness for two days. Kama mtu anazakata majani, anarudia tena siku ya pili, njiwa mpwate, alikuwa wapi na police commander na kila mtu. As a section of leaders condemn Sang's actions and push for his arrest, Kipchumba Murkomen, Elgeo Marakwet Senator, is of a different opinion. He says no public officer in national or county level has ever been arrested by acting on the president's directive over illegal structures on public land, including the Taj Mall and South End Mall issues. At least 2,500 tea bushes are believed to have been destroyed at the farm in Kimwari Estate that is managed under the Agency of Eastern Produce Kenya Limited. It is alleged that the four-acre piece of land was grabbed from the community by powerful individuals in 2003, just 23 years after the white man surrendered it to allow for the construction of a community cattle dip. For Governor Sang, who appeared as a hero before his Nandi residence, he is a villain before the eyes of police. Rift Valley Regional Police Commander Edward Mombori has ordered his officers to track down Governor Sang and arrest him. Sang is likely to face incitement and destruction to property charges. Raquel Muigai, Citizen TV.